it's time to work on this little tabletop here. Um, I'm going to make a cake and a candle because I didn't like the original candles uh, from the set. So I'm taking a thick sewing thread and my um, wood glue. I'm going to take a tiny bit of the wood glue on my fingers and I'm just putting it all over this piece of sewing thread and I'm just placing it nice on the table and letting it dry all together. Now it is time for the candles. I rolled a piece of white clay into the thickness of the candles that I wanted to have. So you can roll it thicker or thinner all after the size of the candles you like to make. And you can of course use another color if you want to. I needed one candle for this project, but I know that I'm going to have to make three more later for this project. So I'm going to make all four candles at the same time. I cut them into the different heights of the candle that I liked them to be. And now I am shaping them with a dotting tool at the top of the candle. And I do this on all four candles. There is two different ways you can make the candle look like it is dripping. One is taking a tiny piece of uh, the clay that you used for the candles and place it on the side like this little bumpy thing that I am doing right here. The other way to do it is using some bacon bond or sculpey for making these kind of drips down the candles. So just be careful with this because it's rather thin, but it also makes some very nice drips on the candles. It's quite hard to see what I'm doing, but I am making it kind of drip from the edge on the top of the candle and down the side, uh, just like if it was a, some icing dripping down the side of a cake. Now I am cutting the sewing thread that we put glue on into smaller pieces and I'm making a tiny hole into the top of the candle and placing these pieces of sewing thread into it as, um, I don't even know what that part is called in English, but this part that burns the candles, uh, the wick, right? Okay, uh, but I'm placing that into the candles. I'm going to make some small uh, cookies for the plate and this is a mold that I made a lot of years ago and I tried to find the videos for this but I'm not sure I made a video for this cookie uh, mold so I might have to make a video for that one day but for now I'm just filling up the mold here with some dull colored clay and pressing it really good into the mold then I am cutting off the excess clay and I'm carefully releasing the small cookies here of the mold. I'm using some brown soft pastel and I'm just dusting that over the cookies before I bake them all. After baking and cooling, I am cutting off the wicks in the length that I really want them to. If they jump out for you, you can always glue them back into the candles. I took three of the candles and put them away for the live streams where I'm going to use them. And I just take the table that we are going to work on now, placing uh, the small cookies on the plate and placing the plate on the uh, tabletop. I'm using my super glue gel to glue on the cookies and of course to glue on the plate to the table.
Then I am gluing the candle onto this little piece of uh, jewelry that I found in my stash of things. And I am gluing this little plate onto the table also. The little tablecloth here is kind of uh, sticking out from the side of the table. So I'm just taking a tiny bit of my wood glue and gluing it down onto the table so it looks more natural. Then I have this piece of greenery. It's kind of like a uh, green pipe cleaner thing. I found that on a um, sales exhibition somewhere. Um, I don't remember where anymore, but it's really cool. So I'm just cutting off a tiny piece of this, curling it into a, a ring, and I'm gluing that around the candle for some little greenery around the candle. I think this look really cute. So that's all there is for this day. I hope you liked this video. I finally got myself a new microphone and this is less scratchy as the old one. So there's not as much background noises on the sounds anymore. I like that really much. I hope you like that too. Anyway, that was all for today. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.